G'day folks, it's Laura here and today I'm going to do another acrylic pour. So I'm getting started by first putting painter's tape on the back of my canvas. So painter's tape allows me to clean off the back of my canvas very easily just by peeling this off if paint gets underneath the canvas, this being the top of the canvas or the, the front of the canvas and this being the back of the canvas. The next step is just to add these uh, giant push pins, one to each corner, to allow me to hold the canvas up off the surface and to pick up the canvas, to move it, and also to let drips actually move away from the canvas. Okay, my canvas is now ready for use. So today's flip cup pour is going to be a combination of metallic colors from Jo Sonia. So pale gold, rich gold, burnished copper and rose gold. So you can see with these metallic paints that while they do have a beautiful shimmer, a metallic shimmer to them, uh, they are actually transparent paints underneath all of that. So you can see the little pencil line that I've drawn in underneath each of these. And I'm going to pair each of these up with a similar base color in order to provide some opacity to these metallic colors. Now in combination with these four metallics in their base uh, opaque colors, I'm also going to use three very pale uh, brown beige kind of colors in order to separate and offset some of those metallics. So just adding a little tiny bit of these opaque colors with each of their respective metallics. Okay, so I'm just going to use my normal pouring medium here. I have a video about this if you're interested. And I'm going to fill each of these cups to about halfway. This is the end of that bottle. So I've just got a new one here. So it's time to layer my cup now and I'm going to use my standard cell activator which is one part Amsterdam titanium wire, four parts Floetrol and I have a video of myself making this up. So I'm first going to start just with a generous layer on the bottom of the flip cup. And then I've ordered my sequence of colours here to have a metallic uh, followed by a non-metallic, then a metallic, then a non-metallic, kind of in sequence of colour density. And I might start with the pale gold. So this is now ready to flip. 
So here we are at the turntable and now we're ready to flip the cup. Just let it sit for a couple of seconds. Wow, that's beautiful. Just going to retrieve the rest of the paint from the cup so I don't waste it and use it to cover the corners and the edges. So at this point I just need to pop some of those bubbles. I'm loving this section down in the bottom left here, so I'm just going to expand it a little bit. Beautiful. I think I'm very happy with that. Just cover those corners. And there we are. So just going to take you in with the camera now for a bit of a closer look. I love how this piece turned out. I love the rose gold that traces through the center with lacing. I love how the lacing is outlined with the metallic rose gold and the copper. I love the layers of different hue from using the opaque colors in between the metallic colors. I really love this complicated cellular structure and pattern down here in the center.
and overall I'm really pleased with the composition in total. Thanks for watching everyone and please let me know what you think in the comments.